back right foot forward, low block. Come on. Two of her. Set. Net. Das. Yos. Yogo. Hidor. Aho. Yur. Hana. Tur. Set. Net. Das. Yos. Yogo. Hidor. Aho. And now, a variation of the move. This time, a high block, using the same basic form. The arms cross in the same fashion, but the blocking arm starts low and moves high. The key to excellence in any sport is mastery of the fundamentals. Here we learn basic balance, coordination, and control. Everything we learn here is fundamental to our success later on. The back stance begins from the same ready position. Feet are in an L. 70% of your weight on the back leg, both knees bent. Now add the knife block a basic defensive move. Fold your arms at your chest. Extend your blocking arm forward across your eyesight, keeping your forearm vertical. To make a knife hand, start with a fist, opening your fingers until the first three fingers are level. Lock your thumb to the side of your hand without cupping your palm. This creates a solid knife edge for blocking. Left foot forward, back stance, knife hand block. Come on. Back. Do it. Set. Net. Docile. Yes. Try the same basic form, but use an inside block this time. From inside, out. Blocking with the thumb side of your hand. Now left foot forward, inside block. Come on. Back, twirl. Set. From the basics you have learned so far, you will create thousands of complex combinations. Eventually, at the expert level, you will react without thinking. And the same form again, outside block, blocking with your forearm or knife edge. Set. Net. Eventually, when the time comes for sparring, the effort you put in here will mean the ability to react instinctively. But instinct in karate comes only through practice, through repetitions of outstanding form. The last stance we will learn for now is the fighting stance. It is closely related to the back stance, except the back foot is slanted in slightly. This is meant to be a comfortable stance, a stable, balanced platform, and every individual will be a little different. The front hand is up. The other hand guards the solar plexus. Now add a back fist. Slide forward, don't step. Strike with the knuckles on the back of the fist, like a whip snapping. Left foot forward fighting stance. Slide forward back fist with your left hand. Hana. Door. Set. Net. Dazzle. Yos. Yogo. Door. Aho. You are. 
Slide so forward, back this with your right hand. Come on. Do it. Set. Net. Gossel. Yosa. Yoga. Get out. I hope. You're Switch feet. Reverse punch with the back hand and pivot on the back leg. Practice this slowly until you're sure you have the form and motion down solid. Now, practice from the other side. There's balance in every move, not only shifting weight, but a balance of force with grace. We must constantly work on both, keeping both in balance as we train. Let's try basic front kicks, beginning with the back leg. If you need help with your balance at first, use the back of a chair to steady yourself. From a fighting stance, a basic front kick. Remember, you are not punting a football. This is a punching motion with your foot, not a sweeping punting move. Keep the toes curled in. Punch with the ball of the foot. Aim for a target. Left foot forward fighting stance. Basic front kick. Now. Once you have the basic motion, practice from both sides. Set. Next, a basic round kick. This has a sweeping motion. You can hit with either the instep or with the ball of the foot. The motion should remind you of a baseball bat. To do it right, you will need to pivot and turn your hip, keeping your knee bent as you raise your leg and then extending your foot. Basic round kick. Hana. Use the chair if you need help with balance at first. Twelve. Practice from both sides, ten each. Set. Net. Dazzle. Set. Net. Get her. Switch feet. Now. Set. The last form we'll practice on this tape is the stationary sidekick. Again, you will need to pivot and turn your hip in order to get a smooth motion with power. Raise your leg with your knee bent, then thrust your heel straight toward your target, driving the leg across.
stationary sidekick. Hana. Tool. Set. Net. Tasso. Yos. Yogo. Yodor. Aho. Your. Switch feet. Stationary sidekick. Hana. Tur. Set. Net. Tasso. Yos. Yogo. Yodor. Aho. Yur. And that's our workout. We've covered a lot of ground. The workout should feel strenuous to you. Your goal is to warm up and work out at least three times a week for 30 minutes each time. If you do, in five to eight weeks or so, depending on your physical condition and natural talent, you should be able to master this tape. You will know when you are ready because you have the power of good judgment in you and you will be honest about your own progress. An ability to discern the truth in yourself is necessary to success in karate. <laughs> Breaking boards is more than a trick or stunt. It's a way of focusing your training on a single point, a single task. From a fighting stance, we will use a basic front kick using the ball of the foot. This is very important. Practice the kick repeatedly without a board at all until you are sure your technique is smooth and on target and you will strike the board only with the ball of your foot. Yeah! It's important to hold the board properly. Position the board with the grain of the wood horizontally, grasping it in the middle with your elbow locked and your feet in a front stance. To help avoid a serious injury, use only an approved breakaway board. Don't rush. Remember, you are in control of your training. Proceed only when you are certain you're ready. Then concentrate the whole force of your energy into the move. Taekwondo is an internationally supervised sport with organized competition that leads to advancement. But karate also prepares you in case the unexpected should happen someday. The objective of a good defense is to defend yourself without hurting your opponent. If a person punches you, use a knife block to defend the strike. Then slide your hand forward to grasp his shoulder. Reverse punch with your back hand and sweep his leg out as you pull him down then reverse punch as he hits the floor. It's important to bring your opponent to the floor so you can make an escape. The proper philosophy is to defend yourself without injuring your opponent. Let's look at it again. Knife block the punch. Reverse punch to knock him off balance. Sweep his feet out from underneath. And reverse punch as he hits the floor. The most important lesson we learn from karate is not self-defense, but self-discipline. Self-defense we use only in class or organized competition, hopefully never on the street. But self-discipline we use every day. That's what will truly make us stronger as individuals. And a dedication to daily training is the clearest sign of our self-discipline. have the ability to master the power. Until next time, hey Cho.